is the rightful heir to the Bavenda throne. Are Bavenda women forbidden from ascending the throne of traditional leadership? Why is the Bavenda Royal Council against installing Princess Masindi Mpepu as monarch? And why has Princess Masindi decided to interdict the coronation of King Tony Ramabulana? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Seydou. President Jacob Ketlisegis Azuma is billed to officiate at the coronation ceremony of Bavenda King on 9th September this year at Thuando Stadium. However, the ceremony is subject to a legal challenge following action by Princess Masindi Mpepu, who wants the proceedings to be stopped as she claims to be the rightful heir to the throne. Who? is the rightful head of the Bavenda Nation. She joins us today in studio to talk about a challenge for the throne. We are live and therefore you can call us and air your views. The number to dial 089-110-4210. Our Twitter handle at question time 24. My guest today, Princess Masindi Mpepu. She's also joined by Prince Mbulaini Mpepu. And joining us from our Pulukwane studios is Chief Dabana Nechiburana. Let me welcome all of you. Uh, Chief Dabana, welcome to Question Time as well. Thank you. Okay, I hope you will be able to hear us. But let me start here. Um, Masindi, the I mean, we're reading in the papers this uh, uh, talk of uh, coronation on the 9th of September, which you have launched a legal challenge to stop. Who is the rightful heir to Bavenda throne? I am. Okay, you are. Um, why do you say so? Um, I'm Dimbanika's daughter. Okay, who is Dimbanika? Dimbanika is. Dimbanika was the Bavenda king before he died in a car accident in 1997. Okay. He's also Tony's brother. Okay. And he's the one that Tony was his regent. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, uh, Bren, who are you in this uh, family? Um, I'm, I'm Dimbanika's brother, his younger brother as well. Um, I can also say that I'm um, Tony's elder brother. We are the half-brothers. And then um, I am Masindi's uncle. So to say, okay. Yeah, so to say. All right. You but know. in Chivenda, you are what? Uh, Kotsimunene? Um, yeah, in Chivenda, I am one of the Kotsimuneneers. Okay. And then um, uh, under this current dispensation, you know, you know that Tony... He's a regent, he's acting, you know. So, but he's trying to formalize this thing and, uh, and, and make it permanent. So, under this current setup, I'm also a Rumi of Tony. So, in other words, I can say that I'm the acting Rumi of Tony. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's, let's just get uh, this, this uh, thing uh, in, in context. Why is there a dispute over who is the rightful heir to the throne? Why have we gotten to where we are today? Oh, I, I, it is not an easy answer. But probably what I can say is that uh, Masindi is a, is a woman. She's a girl. She's a girl child. Because I think that if uh, she was a male, there's no way that anybody was going to dispute the fact that she is the rightful heir you know, to the throne. Yeah. It's just that when her father passed on in 1997, she was still very, very young. Mm. So as such, she couldn't ascend the throne. Mm. So the family decided to appoint Peter Tony as a regent, and which, was a, which, which is rightful so, because remember, Tony was the Rumi of Dimbanyika. He was seated there with Dimbanyika, and, uh, and Rumi, to those who might not understand, is uh, an equivalent to a prime minister or a deputy uh, or a deputy king 
And in our culture, if a, a king passes on while seated on the throne, there's no way that Indumi could succeed him on a permanent basis. So they appointed him as a regent, but it seems as if he doesn't want to vacate the throne, given the fact or taking advantage of the fact that uh, Masindi is a female. There's always been uh, this conception of saying that uh, uh, females cannot ascend the Ramabrana throne, and which is totally wrong. If you remember, Mpo, uh, our Makazi, Makazi Bom people acted on that throne before Dimbanyika ascended the throne for more than seven years, and she is a female, okay. you know? Yeah. Just hold it there. May I just remind our viewers that we had extended an invitation to a Mr. Mafunzo Aini, who is the spokesperson of uh, the Royal Council or of the King there, on the 22nd uh, of this month, which was uh, Monday. Uh, and, uh, unfortunately, they decided to ignore our <coughs> calls, which we made. I called them twice from a cell phone. We sent messages of invitation. They did not respond. So please do not think that we did not extend an invitation to the other side. But, Masindi, if I may just come back to you as well. Um, well, uh, your uncle here is saying that you are a girl child and all that. Do you somehow feel that you are being... Um, swindled out of the throne because you are a woman? Definitely. They even included that in one of their papers, the ones we once said that uh, no woman will ascend uh, the throne in the Bavenda Kingdom. And how does that make you feel then? It, it hurts. It hurts a lot because uh, we, at the end of the day we are family. I would think that they will be, they'll, they'll support me, they'll groom me and stuff like that, but we are at war. It hurts deeply. Well, they, this talk that um, you are not a legitimate child of the late King Dimbanyika. Those are just excuses. Okay. So why, how, how, why are they bringing, bringing it up now, 22 years later? Why didn't they talk about that? Maybe after my father died or when they, they installed him back then in 1994 or 5. Okay. Well, do you recognize her as your uh, rightful heir? Yeah, no, I, I will definitely say that she is my daughter. She grew up there um, uh, in the great palace. Okay. You know, not just any other ordinary palace. You know, even uh, some of the children of the king are not even supposed to go inside that house. So she grew up there. You know, and they should have raised that point before Dimba, Dimbanyika even married her mother. So I think it's just a, a silly excuse, uh, but we know that it has always been uh, used when people are trying to fight for their rights. Okay. Let's go to Pulukwane and uh, just invite the chief. Chief, you have served in the House of Traditional Leaders, and that's the reason why we're bringing you here, so that you can also provide what we uh, expect to be an objective uh, view on this subject matter. How are issues of succession handled in the uh, vendor uh, 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 well, kingdom or traditional uh, houses? Uh, viewers, <clears throat> maybe to start with, one will say traditional leadership, it belongs to the royal family. It, it does not belong to an individual. So the royal family, that needs to refill uh, the empty position. They sit down and negotiate and try to uh, find the, right, the rightful heir. And that job is mainly in charge with Womakazi. She's the one actually who must take a lead in the royal family. Okay, now in this case um, of uh, uh, the Ramaburana uh, dynasty, if I may call it that. Um, how were things done? Uh, are they being done in accordance with the uh, traditions of Bavenda? Well, viewers, uh, one will say, you know, I'm not new in this. I've been serving 
under the late uh, uh, Kosikuru Patrick Mpepu. I was the youngest member of parliament in his government. And uh, I was the member from Chimbufe constituency. So when Chief Nechimbufe uh, visited the, uh, the, the president, I used to accompany him. Besides, we are related. I'm Murauzi, I'm from Murauzi clan. I'm an uh, I'm, I'm offspring of one called uh, Guamasenga, who is the uncle to Velambeu. Velambeu is the, one will say, is the founder of the Masingos, who are the most dominant clan in Venda. They are our kings. Okay. So I know, uh, yeah. Now, but I want you, let's get to uh, uh, the Pepu Ramablana uh, uh, matter here. Is it being handled according to tradition? Well, from a distance, one will say, uh, I'll speak up my mind, uh, viewers. Uh, what is happening in Pepu? Uh, one will say, there's a problem there that needs to be solved by who if one can ask that question by the masingo dynasty the masingo clan is one of the biggest clan in venda i can tell you that if they are not to be disturbed by other people who, foreigners who does not know their culture they can solve this problem it's easy I can't believe. But the way it is now, one will say things are upside down. Okay, hold it there. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll be taking your calls and you can air your views on this subject. Uh, 89 -110 And like I said, we had extended an invitation to a Mr. Mafunzo Aini who decided not to return our calls nor respond to the request for those interviews. They were sent at 522 on the 22nd of this month 2016 we shall return funeral policy. Joy is found in the little things. Ke ho pidisa, ho fepa le ho hudisa. Uguba ibona, uvela kwe tuba na loko ungenzega. In being there when one journey ends and another begins. And idea of fali klein dengi kis, at kos pa rera na namor. Life is the gift of growing new memories each day. So that our loved ones can preserve them after we are no longer here. Life is a gift to us. Life is a gift to us. Since 1918, AFBOB has comforted and supported South African families in their time of need. Protecting their loved ones' memories with respect and dignity. Plus, committed and trusted funeral representatives with more than 250 branches nationwide. There for you, every hour of every day. Avbo provides a complete funeral service solution for everyone, even if you're not an Avbo policyholder. Make sure your family comes first. Always. Avbo, we're here for you. If you would like Avbob to call you about a new policy, SMS family and your name to 41790. It's Macro's 45th Big Birthday Bash, and our gift to you is big savings. Get the Samsung 55-inch Smart SUHD TV for only 16999. Save 5,000 Rand. Or the Russell Hobbs Stainless Steel Food Processor, only 899. Save 700 Rand. And save 500 Rand on the Tefal 7-piece non-stick cookware set, now only 9.99. Get these and many other great deals in store and online with Macro's Big Birthday Bash. Macro, big on life.
Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. My guest today, uh, Princess Masindi Mpepu, Prince Mbrayani Mpepu, and from Apulukwani Studios, Chief Damana Nishburana. Our numbers 089 and we'll be taking your calls. And let me just remind you once again, we had extended an invitation to the Royal Council, a Mr. Mafunzuaini, who did not respond to our messages nor return our calls. Prince Mpepu, you are saying um, you've got a view on the um, uh, matter whether things are being done correctly in the uh, 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 traditional council or not. Yeah, no, I do have a view. I, I, I can actually say that uh, we are not following our culture. You know, the guys who are uh, out there, Tony and uh, his people or his supporters, they are not really following the culture. Even the, um, uh, the reconfirmation of him in 2012, you know, as the king, or uh, the appointment of him in 2012 as the king, it was not done in accordance to our culture. Firstly, Tony and Mavis are the kingmakers. So they were not present on the meeting that confirmed or that has appointed Tony to be the king. You know, um, Tony was now announced by Womakad's Wopopi, whose term has expired now. She no longer has got any role, you know, to pronounce on someone who is going to succeed Dimbanyika. She has pronounced on, 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 the, on the ascension of Dimbanyika as the king. Mm. You know, now when it comes to Dimba, uh, to Dimbanyika's successor, the person who was supposed to have done that was supposed to be Mavis, not Womakadzi Wopopi. Okay. And then the person who was supposed to be convening and chairing the meeting, it was supposed to be Tony, not uh, David Japan Mpepo. Uh, I'm so sorry to call him that way, but uh, anyway, people do know him as Japan, and uh, mm. sometimes he calls himself Japan, but he is my father. Mm. So, so I will say that it was not uh, uh, in accordance to our culture, okay. you know. Okay. So I, uh, I, I think uh, I've just tried to clarify that one. Okay. Now, mm. um, uh, Chief Daban. Uh, uh, when matters are standing in this fashion where there's a coronation that is lined up and uh, the two, uh, the, uh, Masindi and Murani here, uh, have already lodged a legal uh, matter, how can the matter be resolved? Uh, if I may chip in, uh, viewers, uh, maybe let's, let me start here that uh, the hair must come from a Zikuso wife. So I don't know uh, from this thing, uh, is, there, uh, is Masindi coming from the Zikuso wife? Well, let's get the uh, answer. Masindi, are you from... Uh, by the way, what is a Zikuso wife? Uh, a Zikuso wife is a kindly wife. Uh, is a wife who is normally married by the dowry is supposed to be coming from the family. And uh, the main purpose of a Zikiso wife is to uh, give birth uh, to a king. Okay, is Masindi the successor? Uh, look, I'm very young, you know, and uh, the issue of Zikiso is very secretive. You know, nobody could really say whether her mother is a Zikiso wife or not. But again, uh, Dimbanyika only had one wife. You know, who is, and uh, that wife was Furuperu, Masindi's mother, and she's also coming from the royal family, you know. And then the culture will say that the, if it is only one wife, she should be regarded as Jekiso wife up until the family goes out and marries another who is a proper Jekiso okay. wife. Okay. So that didn't happen. So I will say that uh, uh, Furuperu was a Jekiso wife. He's talking about a Zekiso wife. Uh, Peter's mother was not a Zekiso wife. You Who's know? Peter? Uh, uh, Tony. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I call him Peter. He, that is his name. Oh, so okay. Tony's mother was not a Zekiso wife. So, but how come? Because it seems as if they are supporting him and they are standing on the leg of a Zekiso wife. Okay. Yeah, you see, so I think there's uh, some misnomer there. Okay. Now, um, Masindi, how do you feel? Uh, you are at the center of all this. How do you feel? You are a young woman. 
um, who, who's probably supposed to be worried about many other things uh, than this? Um, at first, I mean, this was re really hard for me because when growing up, I didn't know that later on I would have to ascend the throne. But when I learned of it, when I was approached, I, I said I'm going for it. Um, with the support I'm getting, I feel confident, strong, and I won't give up. Okay, so you have lodged your papers in court now. What is the intention? That my uncle uh, gives me my throne. I want my throne. That's all? That's all. Okay, you want your throne. Um, well, Shura, let me uh, come to you there. Um, Masindi says she wants her throne. Are there chances that she would get it? Uh, viewers, uh, maybe let me say this. Uh, maybe this is going to help. Let me explain in brief how the succession uh, takes place in a normal circumstances. Mm. You see, after the death of the chief or the king, there has to be a candle wife. Mm -hmm. If there's no candle wife, in Venda we say Hoguma. Because the traditional leadership is a, is in, in, is a collective leadership. It's in a three uh, division. It's the king, Bomakazi, and Ndumi. So those people are the one, the Makazi and the Ndumi are the one who are responsible okay. to identify. Uh, hold it there. Let me take Kenny. Kenny, you're calling us from uh, uh, Limpopo. Welcome. Hello. Yes, welcome. Ye yes, uh, <coughs> I know a uh, 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 Marama Bora Nazi. And one day I will be able to get the not him from that dream or one of the car on Shaka. So, Nara and Dandy lawyer, I Dandy Dr. Samas in the form three Mahara go to Ugo to Jago Jabu. You are hoping to go to Rogua also on Abotor at General. Okay, Kenny, thank you very much. Well, Kenny saying there, well, if he was a lawyer, he was going to help Masindi for free because he feels that she's just being uh, robbed or swindled out of a throne which is due to her. Um, what would be your message, uh, Chief, uh, uh, the, uh, perhaps to the, the parties, uh, to the Ramabrana uh, family? Uh, what I can say to Ramabrana's family, they should forget about their differences uh, because this is a very important plan in Venda. They should come together and uh, solve the impasse of which I'm convinced if they can come together on their own without the commoners, the Ramabrana who are the really Masingos, they will resolve this problem. Okay, let me take uh, another call very quickly. Uh, this is Prince Mpepu, I'm told. Hello? Oh, Prince Mpepu is gone. Well, we've run out of time. What is going to happen? Uh, um, uh, no, we, we, our legal team is in the process of interdicting the, uh, the, the, the so-called wiki-wiki coronation. And, uh, but we also hope that the government, the president, must just stop this thing before uh, it is interdicted. Simply because uh, we are in the Women's Month. Recently, people were telling us about women empowerment and so forth. And this is a very, very clear case of women empowerment, particularly in the African culture. Okay. Let me thank you all for the time. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. We, we're going to be keeping our eyes on the matter uh, to see what happens. You have already lodged the papers uh, for, for, for an interdict, that is? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We will, we will uh, indeed uh, keep following the story. But let me just remind you, for the last time we had invited Mr. Mafunzo Aini. He ignored our messages. Goodbye.